Previously on Batman the Imaginext series. Superman, Batman, Black Bat, and Batgirl publicly supported Edmund Creel and his running mate as they were running against Mayor Harrison Hill and Lex Luthor. But Jack Ryder, minutes after Batman supporting Edmund revealed something destructive. That Edmund had had an affair with his running mate. What will happen next on this epic crossover? Find out now. Hello, I'm Jack Ryder and welcome to the presidential debate. We are inside of the Hall of Justice current working place of the Justice League, our sponsors for this evening. Would you like to say a couple of words? Hello, I am Superman, and this is my partner Batgirl. And despite our bias for one of the candidates, we would like to say good luck, and we are honored to be hosting tonight's debate. Thank you. Thank you very much, Superman. Now, let us introduce the candidates. Mayor of Gotham, Harrison Hill, and Governor of California, Edmund Creel. Now, tonight's debate will cover a range of topics from, yeah, 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 just get to the affair. Yep. Our first topic is, of course, the affair that Edmund Heal had with Elizabeth Lawrence. Edmund, you get one minute on this. Good luck. I am disgusted and revolted by my own behaviors. I was greedy and bored. But do not let this discourage from what I have done as a governor and what I will do as a president. The reason I did what I did is just so that I could get put to work. I was bored out of my mind as being governor of California was no longer challenging for me. I had done everything I needed to do for the great city of the state. I had the affair out of boredom and stupidity and I promise, nothing like it will ever happen again. Thank you. Now, another question for Edmund. And it's also about the affair. Despite you having an affair with the woman, why did you still decide to choose her as your running mate in the election? Because, despite what happened between us, she's the smartest politician I've ever met. She is a hero. And she deserves a shot at helping to run the country. Thank you, thank you. Harrison Hill, your response. Uh, thank you. Jack and I myself find his behavior truly revolting. The man cheated on his wife with our possibly soon-to-be vice president. The president and the vice president should never be acting this way. We shouldn't have young, impressionable, gluttonous people in the White House. Now, he says that this was a one-time thing, but we don't know. He could be seeing her every night, for all we know. We know he's a liar, and we know he hid this from us. So the truth is, what else is he hiding from us? Thank you, Mayor Hill. Now let us get to the next topic. This is bad, Superman. Huh, I know. It's like a train wreck that I can't save. Two hours later. All right, thank you. This has been the presidential debate. And now, we are going to be doing the vice presidential debate right now. Due to scheduling errors, the debate had to be rescheduled. So, 
we moved the vice presidential debate to today. Now, please welcome our vice presidential candidates. Lex Luthor and Elizabeth Lawrence. Now, Governor Luther, our first question is to you about health care. Thank you, Mr. Ryder. Oh, no. Yeah. Why would you do it, Edmund? You knew this would be risking your entire career. <sighs> Barbara, I didn't do it. What? All right. Follow me. I need to tell you a secret. Come on. So, what are you saying, Governor? You didn't have an affair? No, of course I didn't. The thing is, <sighs> Elizabeth is a superhero, just like you. What? She can fly, shoot lasers, you know, all the good stuff. And I'm her political informant. By day, she's a congresswoman. By night, she saves lives. She goes by Liberty Woman. Liberty Woman? I've met with Liberty Woman. <sighs> We're not close enough to know each other's identities yet, though. Yeah. But how does that explain you having an affair with her? All right. There was an attack when we were at a party. We suddenly left the party because we had to get down to her secret base. Which was inside the Senate. Someone followed us and started recording. <sighs> to hide suspicion and her secret identity, the two of us started kissing. Oh... Yeah. Wow, I can't believe she's a superhero. Yeah. Ugh. Why didn't you think of a better excuse? It was spur of the moment, Superman. Well, if that's your decision making, I don't know if I want you as my president. Then why did you endorse me? Because I really don't want the other candidate to be president. <sighs> Let's go back, girl. Goodbye, Edmund. Oh, God. So, you know what you must do, Deadshot? Yes, I do. Good. You must be there at the inauguration. Call me before it happens, okay? Yes, sir. Good. Hello. Welcome to GBNC's coverage of the election. Currently on the map, Mayor Hill stands with 200 electoral votes, and Edmund Creel with 170. We need 270 to win, and we still have a lot of time to go through tonight. This is terrifying, Bruce. I know, I know. But Creel will pull through. It's even scary thinking Creel will be our leader. Yeah. What are those secret service men whispering about? Bruce, they're secret service. They do secret things. That's their service. Ugh, I don't know. They seem shady. <laughs> You're better at reading people than I am. Hail Luthor. Hail, Luthor. All right, we have some breaking election news. Harrison Hill has won the state of California, which pushes him up to 250 electoral votes. He only needs 20 more to win. Oh, God. Stay calm. Stay calm. Another pivotal point. Ohio has been one for Edmund Creel. <sighs> he is up to 2.30. Two hours later. And that does it. 
Harrison Hill has won the state of Iowa. We can now project that Harrison Hill will be the next president of the United States with two 700 electoral votes. We need to get back to our cities right now. I just can't believe we lost Liberty Woman. I, I know, but I'm still a superhero. We can still help this country. Yes, we can. <coughs> Edmund. Dead shot. How how can she fly? I thought she was just some normal sender. <gasps> yeah, a normal bulletproof senator. <sighs> Dead shot was locked up, Mercy. We'll need someone else to do the job. We'll find someone, Lex. We better. Inauguration day is in two weeks. We need a good hit man before then. I'm interested.